Hey dudes, welcome to Boss vs. Bros. Everyone knows that in the 80s and 90s, Konami was king. And they revolutionized couch co-op gameplay. So much so, that for our first Let's Play, we are going to take a trip back to our childhood and play one of the greatest couch co-op games ever made. Contra! What? Yeah, dude, but we're doing the video for the footage we just shot. Did we play Con- when did we play Contra? In our childhood. Contra! Oh, I- Shit, I said it again. Yeah, you yeah. did. Legend of the Mystical Ninja. But for real, I remember in my childhood playing this game all the time. Smashing monsters with pipes, throwing coins at bad guys, and playing all the sweet mini-games. It's true. Konami set the bar as far as couch co-op is concerned with Contra, but for my money, Legend of the Mystical Ninja is one of the best co-op games ever made. And we're going to play it for you guys right now. Enjoy! Alright, welcome to Boss vs. Bros. This is our first Let's Play of Mystical Ninja. The oh, Legend well, of the Mystical it, Ninja. It, uh, it uh, reset here on me. Uh, we should probably introduce ourselves, huh? Yeah, let's do it. So I am uh, Paul Breeden. I'm Michael Breeden. And we are the Breeden brothers. We are we are biological brothers. Uh, I'm the younger brother, and uh, Paul here is my older brother. Which is why I will be controlling uh, first player, <laughs> because I'm older and stronger, and our mother loves me much, much more. <laughs> but, I mean, you're playing Kid Yang. Ying? Kid Ying? Kid Ying. I'm Dr. Yang. Dr. See... I'm younger and wiser. <laughs> when I hear doctor, I don't I don't get a doctor vibe off this man. Uh, is that his? Uh, so, as a kid, when we played this game, yeah, sperm. I <laughs> I always thought that was a hat he was wearing. It appears that it is his hair braided under his nose. Okay, okay, yeah. So maybe he is a doctor, but not in the medical sense. Maybe he uh, is a practitioner of. Mustache sciences. He's a, a mustache, mustachio scientist. <laughs> it's um, it's uh, it's Japan. It's well, Mr. Japan. Player One, how about you? Let's get the game going. All right, talk is cheap. All right, Warlock Zone One. Mystical Ghost. <laughs> I wonder why they decided to go with Warlock Zone. Uh, I could. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're gonna levels. go. We're gonna go fight a warlock. Uh at the end of this. Are they all warlocks? Maybe? Okay. I just I also don't know why we like go and beat up city folk. Yeah, that's one thing I always found funny. Like you you get to this point here and uh, mystical fog takes over the entire town and turns them into monsters, but strange cloud is coming from we, the north. We didn't wait for that. We just kind of I'm scared. Went at them. Yeah, they there was no inclination that these people were bad. Right. This man's going to turn into a sea urchin. Uh, yeah, and that lady just pops up, disappears. Or coconut. He's like a coconut that turns into a sea urchin. Yeah. Yep. Well, I, maybe he explodes. We both just got whacked. Yeah, we did early. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been a while since... So this game was, like, a staple in our childhood. Yeah. I remember playing this game for hours. Constantly. Is there anything in these rooms that we should be checking out before we go? No, we, we don't have any money yet. I, well, is it... Mm, Poor okay. Don't worry about it. We're All right, here's the bear bear chair, man. I think he's a sloth, right? I don't. That's what I always picture. <laughs> I thought he was a sloth. I always just imagined he was like a bear sitting in a nice recliner out in the wilderness. D there's an option to go alone. Well, there is an option to go alone. Uh, there's also we're gonna go together. I forget this. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. I believe that um, we have the option to ride on each other's backs. I, I, I'm thinking that one that we can ride on each other's backs and one of us will attack. Let's see. There's... Get on. Nope. It... I don't know if that's the thing. I'm pretty sure that one of us one of us can ride the other's back and the one on the back attacks. I think you're making stuff up right now. I don't think that's maybe the thing. that's if you pick to go alone. I'm oh, almost maybe. positive. I would I would put money on it. Oh, fireman, fireman's kitty cat. Mine. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> jerk. Yes. Okay. So, uh, for this, anyone... is, this is always good. <laughs> you play <worries>. Nightcrawlers? <laughs> um, so, anyone who has never played this game before, uh, the cats, the kitty cats, I gotta get up here. The kitty cats 
upgrade your weapons. Yeah, your, your weapons can be upgraded. Uh, there's three different forms. There's like a little a little hash pipe, a big long hash pipe, and then I get a yo-yo. Do you get a yo-yo? I don't remember what I get because I almost never got the third cat. Uh, also, if you get hit, you downgrade your weapon. Yeah, you get uncatted. Yeah, so um, there was some some themes in this. Oh, we gotta yeah, go back. Oh, we whiffed it. Uh, there were some themes in this game that were probably too adult for children. Uh, ah, I get it. All right. The good thing is that children aren't smart enough to realize that there are themes that aren't right. For so them. you're like walking wow. around with an opium pipe. Holy shit! Giddy gate. All right. Uh, Flying. Yeah, you're walking around like an opium pipe. Yeah, I think this is a side effect of that. Is you get to you fly are around <laughs> real high. <laughs> so my doctor just has he has a flute. He's a, a flautist. Is can you be like a doctor of music? I am a musical doctor. Or, of like, mustache and music. Well, I guess that was a silly question, Doctor Dre. Oh no. Oh, that's <gasps> right. I'm also high on opium. <laughs> There's a lot of drug-related things going on. Look at these mushrooms chasing us. Are they mushrooms or are they umbrellas? I always imagine they were umbrella people. Those are mushrooms. They have little spores coming off. I guess. I thought those were their hands. I say umbrellas. Look it. Boop. Oh, how did I not... Oh, I didn't jump. I didn't jump. Yeah, I didn't see the bamboo shoots there. Got him. Got him! Whack him. Whack him. Fire Boom. boy. Huh. Alright, so if I remember correctly, this first one is the disc lady, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we have to hit her uh, magic disc. Alright, so you get on that side. I'll stay on this side. Uh, it's a pretty easy way to beat her, if I remember correctly. We just stand here and swing. Well, they come at different angles, so I think you have to move around a little bit. I, I'm pretty sure there's a spot. I don't remember it, but like there's like a spot you can just sit and you'll never get hit. Yeah, I think it's like right. Oh, nope, it's not there. If you, if you move back and... I'm dead. I was gonna show you that if you move back and forth, you won't die, and then I die. Yeah, uh, that's probably not the best move. The nice thing is... Probably some ducking involved here. The nice thing is if you're playing with someone else like this, when you die, you just fly back in like some kind of weird superhero. Sort of wizard. Oh no, I thought I got that one. Oh! Get her! There we go. She did! She gonna turn into a cute cat. Oh. Normal. <laughs> the great thing about this game is it really holds up. Like this was uh, this was one of the best games I think on the Super NES. Agreed. And um, you could tell, like just the art, um, it still holds up today. It's not really uh, it doesn't feel as dated as some of the Super Nintendo games. So there's a cat boss. First off, that was the thing that was said. Uh, second, you the cat just gave us a hundred bucks. You're reading that. You love books. It's just telling you the door. Ah, uh, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> no, I don't want to play. Just, what do you oh, mean? I'm 